to my channel. Hello if you are new here. My name is Asha, also known as Asha Mary Lou over on Instagram. So today's video is a bit of a different one but I'm sure you've guessed by the title of the video that I am about to undergo a rhinoplasty procedure also known as a nose job. Now you could potentially be looking at me right now thinking there is absolutely nothing wrong with that girl's nose because on social media and on YouTube and any picture that I put out of myself I am normally always filmed or photographed from this side of my face which is my left side so this is my side if you don't have a side to your face and you can take a photo and look amazing from both sides of your face and you have no idea how blessed you are trust me from this angle i like my nose and from the right side of my face which i may show you in a photo or a clip here somewhere but i'm definitely not going to turn my head right now because i hate it i have quite the bump on my nose as well as me having a rhinoplasty being for cosmetic results um like i've just explained i don't like the bump in my nose it is also 50 percent a medical case now what's happened to me is back when i was in high school i broke my nose and then Two years ago, I was at a trampoline in centre, showing off, doing backflips, and fell flat on my face, and sort of aggravated the area that was already broken, if that makes sense. So my airflow in my left nostril has been a bit of a problem since then. So half of it is to correct the break and sort out the airflow, and then the other half of it is to narrow my bridge, which is the bit either side of your nose. I'm gonna have that pulled in a little bit, and I also want the bump shaving down. Now, people who have felt my nose, my friends and my family, um, you can actually feel where it's broken. So those are my reasons. Not a lot of people know that I'm having it done. I have always been really open and honest about any procedures that I've had, cosmetic procedures, lip fillers, facial fillers, all that sort of thing. But I was a bit nervous about vlogging this journey. Um, but... I am here to help people if you're considering having the same thing and I've got that in the back of my mind right now. I've decided that I'm going to share it but by the time you see this video it will have already happened. Oh, one second, Bumper's trying to get in the living room. Let me go get him. Wait, wait, no, come back, come back. Love me, love me, love me. Okay, okay, okay. So, where was I? You can actually see the issue that I'm having with the airflow because when I take a deep breath using only my nose my left nostril closes completely um I feel like I need to show you for you to know what I mean but this is probably the most disgusting close-up angle you'll ever see of me so here goes you can see how now when I take a deep breath my left nostril will close ready so see how it just completely closes um, and that's something to do with the break that's further up um and it's affecting the airflow so I want to be able to breathe properly but I also want it to look a lot better as well. So I'm not having anything done to like the tip of my nose really. It might naturally get lifted a little bit where I have some of the skin taken away. Now I know loads of you have found me on YouTube because you've watched my breast augmentation Q&A video. So loads of you will probably be eager to know if I am having the procedure done at Transform in Manchester because obviously I spoke so highly of them in that video. I'm not actually and the only reason is because I wanted a specific consultant. He is the best rhinoplasty surgeon at making very 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 minor changes and he has got his own business it's called yours sincerely aesthetics and his name is mr adele fatar i really wanted him and unfortunately he doesn't go to the transform hospital otherwise i would be going to transform in a heartbeat if i didn't know where to start or what surgeon I wanted, I'd a million percent be going to them. I'm actually going to a hospital in Wrexham, a private hospital in Wrexham, where Mr. Fatar operates out of. And that's about 45 minutes away from me, so it's a lot closer than Manchester anyway. I've at present had three consultations with him. So I had the first one, second one where we went over the pictures and what I'd like to change, um, the complications, all that sort of thing. And then the third one, um, my consent form and chose my date, which is the 29th of February. I am super nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably the most nervous I've ever been for anything in my life. I don't know if it's because it's on my face or whether it's because the last time I had a cosmetic procedure back when I was 19, I don't think I was more naive because I definitely did a lot of research then like I have this time, but 
I just think you take a lot more in your stride when you're younger. I am a lot more fearful this time round and I just think as you get older you feel nerves a little bit more. So I am absolutely shitting myself. There is actually one girl on Instagram that knows and the only reason why she knows, she's a lovely girl called Emma who follows me. Um, I put up a thing asking what people's Valentine's Day plans were a couple of weeks ago and she actually wrote back and said, oh, I can't make plans because I'm having a nose job that day. So I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna tell her that I'm having one as well because it will be so helpful just to have somebody to relate to at the same time. And she has been super helpful. She has been sending me pictures every day of how she's looking. It looks incredible. She looks like a totally different person. Recommended loads of things for me to get, um, helpful tips, which also reminded me as well why I'm doing this video because the reason why I did my breast augmentation video is to give you guys helpful tips. So Emma, if you're watching this, I just want to say a massive thank you for everything that you've helped me with so far. This rhinoplasty video is going to be in two parts because it's such a long healing process. I've just filmed my reasons why obviously in the intro. Um, I'm going to film the day before the surgery, um, on the way to the surgery and also in the hospital when I first wake up and maybe for the couple of days after and that is where I will end this video so the first part of the vlog and then I will pick up the camera again and talk more about the experience of my nose job once I'm sort of nearer the fully healed stage or a couple of months down the line when you can actually see what the results look like. I'm excited to be able to breathe properly, I'm excited for the break to be fixed and I am excited to be happy with my appearance that is going to be one massive confidence boost and for me I've seen what cosmetic surgery can do to your self-confidence if it's something that you have really thought about and it's something that really does bother you I've been there so for me I know that I just need to stay focused on the end result and that everything's going to be fine hello so it is currently quarter to eight in the evening on the day before my surgery so I'm actually being admitted tomorrow uh, morning and I have had the busiest day today because I've just had so much to do. Ignore the state of me by the way, <laughs> I've literally been out of the house since eight o'clock this morning and I've just got back and do you ever look in the mirror for the first time all day and think oh my god I've actually been out in public looking like that. That's actually how I feel. But yeah the first thing I did this morning was go and get my gels soaked off on my nails. I mean... I don't know if you can even see, but I've been getting gels on my nails for like probably nearly a year. Bumper's just casually having a drink in the background. So yeah, you're not allowed to have uh, gels or acrylics or anything like that on when you have general anaesthetic because of that thing that they put on your finger. I think it can like deter your pulse or something. So it's for the best, obviously. Um, and then I went and had my hair washed, even though after the wind and the rain, you probably can't even tell. Um, so it was blow dry day today. I gave my hair a good scrub because obviously I'm not going to be able to wash it now because I'm going to be bed bound. Um, what are you doing? It's Bumper's birthday today. He is three. Are you three years old today? Oh, happy birthday to you. So yeah, we've had a little birthday celebration this morning. He also shares a birthday with my Tide, which, if you aren't Welsh, is Grandad. So Tide in Welsh means granddad. Um, so it's my Ty's birthday today and it's also Bumper's birthday. Just had like a crazy day so got my nails soaked off, got my hair washed. Then what did I do? Oh then I came home and filmed a pretty little thing haul which will be up very soon. Um, obviously I needed to film some content when my face isn't like all bust up and black eyed and whatnot. And then I um poor James loaded my car up with 11 outfits and we went and shot 11 outfits which will cover me for like two and a bit weeks worth of Instagram posts so that's what me and James have been doing for the majority of the afternoon um, and then we celebrated at the end of that with a Nando's so what better meal to have as my last meal before I can't eat than a Nando's because you guys know that that's my fave. James is fighting this evening um, so he boxes he trains every day, pretty much.
pretty much. It's not fighting until about half nine, so it's quite a late fight. So I've been to my grandparents' house, I've seen my tide, wished him a happy birthday, gave him his present, saw my dad there, um, who I don't get to see very often, and my stepmom, so that was lovely. Once James has finished at his fight, we are then heading to the hotel which is next door to the hospital in Wrexham. So it's going to be really late and I'm going to be so tired. Um, so I'll be glad of being put to sleep tomorrow because geez I'm going to need the kip. Right now I am packing. Um, it's nearly 8 o'clock. I've had a Nando's. Had some birthday cake at my Tide's house. And now I'm just like hydrating myself so I'm just drinking loads of water. Um, I've just had a read over my paperwork. Um... And I'm just gonna pack my suitcase. So I thought I would just talk to you guys while I do that. I'm feeling like really tight chested. I think that's just nerves, anxiety maybe. Oh actually I um, started crying. <laughs> I started crying when I was eating my wrap in Nando's. I was literally mid bite and I just burst into tears. Because I'd been on the go all day and like done a million and one things. When we sat down to have Nando's it was like the first chance I had to like think about anything. I was literally just shit myself and I started crying. But I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to be totally okay. So I'm just going to pack my bag, have a shower, chill out and um, wait for James to be done. And then we're going to head off to the hotel. Um, yeah. I literally just shoved everything in my suitcase and just thought, you know what? I'm going to take my makeup off now because it looks a state anyway. So once I've taken my makeup off, I'm going to do like the little clip of my nose. So I can show you exactly what it is that I'm having done to it. Um, what it is that I don't like about it. Um, I think I already showed you once the whole airflow issue so I won't show you that again just in case I put you off your tea. In the morning um, I need to be at the hospital for 6.45am but the hospital is right next door to the hotel. I've got breakfast included and James has been dieting because he had to make weight for this fight um, and until last week he was a couple of kilos over so he's been on like a really low calorie diet all week so he's going to go back to the hotel eat everything he possibly can fit in his stomach in the breakfast. Once he checks out at 11, he's gonna then head back over to the hospital where he can just sit in my room. So I've got like my own room with the TV, a bathroom. He's just gonna chill in there until I come back from theater, which should be around 11.30. It is quite a long operation. It's a three and a half hour long operation. Um, and then they'll sort of wake me up and I'll come round and then I think they're going to probably keep me there all being well until about six o'clock in the evening and then we can make our way home. I'm going to have to have six weeks off the gym. Well, he said six weeks off heavy lifting because I do weightlifting, um, which is a big part of my life. I train every day. Um, so six weeks off heavy lifting, but he said I could probably gently go back to the gym after three to four weeks and do light weights as long as it's like machines or um sets where i'm like upright and i'm not doing too much bending over like squatting or deadlifts um so i'll probably try an upper body when i go back to the gym for the most part and maybe just do a bit of light cardio even though i fucking hate cardio how long have i been wiping my face for those wipes need to go in my suitcase the procedure Three and a half hours long. Now a rhinoplasty standardly, standard, by standard, whatever, is normally 90 minutes long. But because I've got a break that needs fixing, I've got airflow issues and I want the cosmetic side of it done as well, it is going to be three and a half hours long. The thought of being under anaesthetic for that long literally shits me up. Like I can't even explain how fucking scared that makes me. What he's doing is an open rhinoplasty so a closed rhinoplasty is where they can go up through the nose fiddle with what they need to fiddle with and then do it that way minimal scarring no stitches um that sort of thing but because of all the work i'm having done and like a lot of cosmetic cases i'm going to be having an open rhinoplasty to pull the skin back so they can get to everything that they need to get to where the break is um apparently the bone is quite fragile and it's going to be quite a tedious operation so it might be that he has to take a bit of bone from behind my ear and put it in my nose to fix the break depending on what it's like once he actually can physically see it he's going to narrow the bridge so what they do is they make two 
slits like either side of your bridge and then just tuck it in let's see if we can get a little closer okay so i have got quite a wide bridge of my nose and when i'm under spotlights or when a photo is taken of me in the wrong lighting it creates a really dark shadow here and here the tip won't be uh, reduced in size at all i'm completely happy with the size of the tip of my nose you can kind of see the break uh, the bump here and this is from my good side this is from the side that I like so the tip is staying the same but naturally when he pins it it will get lifted ever so slightly and uh, the main part is the bump is going to be shaved down and of course the airflow issues will hopefully be fixed but we're not going to know that for a few months so the break on my nose is I've still got mascara on so those wipes are obviously shit break on my nose is here now if you feel it you can really feel like where it goes in I don't know how I stretch my skin if you'll be able to see it can you see there's like a sharp edge in my nose there where the bit of skin's gone white that's a bit of bone like sticking out so that's the left side so I don't mind it it's okay from that side it's just a normal petite nose that suits my face and then from this side here we go you can see the bump now so that's where the break has happened in this little section here and it's created this bump you will never ever ever see me taking photos from the side of my face because i just absolutely hate it and when i'm under a spotlight in a club or a bar or a restaurant and the the light's just hitting me at the wrong angle you can really see the break in the nose and the bump which i just absolutely hate from this right side it's just mad how different like that side of my nose looks compared to that side even though the break is on this side it shows more from that side that is why i forever ever ever have taken pictures and videos from the left side of my face like now like see how i'm just automatically just tilting to the left like you'd never you'd rarely see me straight on like this and you'd certainly never see me from the right that is me i'm all packed you've got a bit more of an insight now as to why i'm getting it done and what the procedure entails yeah i'm gonna go now um i will see you when i get to the hotel morning it's currently 6 37 in the morning um we're in the hotel obviously i'm trying to be quiet because james is still asleep we didn't get here until like half 12 like quarter to one so it was super late um couldn't sleep until about quarter past two so i've literally had four hours sleep maybe less because I kept waking up having like cold sweats because I was so nervous um but yeah it's nearly 20 to 7 now obviously I need to be there just before 7 so I'm literally just gonna get dressed now pack all of my little bits up um and then we're gonna head over I don't know whether to put contact lenses in because I've got to take them out obviously for the op but I hate having my glasses on so I don't even know if it's even worth it um the annoying thing is I don't know how on earth when i wake up on the anesthetic i'm gonna get my specs over like the cast on my face so i might be blind for a little bit oh, I'm hurt, I'm mm. now i'll let you know how i'm feeling once i come to terms with what's happened bye obviously look a bit of a mess right now um i don't sound great either because um it kind of sounds like i have a blocked nose if honestly i've lost track of what day what time what date it is everything but it's currently thursday the 5th of march obviously my surgery was on saturday that means i am five days post-op this is honestly the first day i have felt like I could actually pick up the camera because it's the first day that i felt relatively human again so i'm sorry that it's not sort of like straight after my surgery but i feel like it's kind of better really because i could explain sort of what's happened over the last few days my current situation my bruising has gone down like a hell of a lot and it's just like a little bit yellowy um which means it's on the way out um but my eyes are still like a little bit red and a bit bruised up here with regards to the actual under eye bruising that's gone down like loads i have been able to take the gauze it's called so it's like a big like packing that they had under my nostrils over my stitches i've been allowed to take that off since two days post-op and i of course just have the stitches there and then the splint and the hard plasters on over my nose i'm not gonna lie i was a bit overwhelmed over the last couple of days 
I didn't have a great reaction to the anaesthetic at all. Um, I've had general anaesthetic twice before. Both times that I previously had general anaesthetic, I've actually been okay. Obviously, you're absolutely knackered. Your body's been through a lot after a procedure. But this time around, my body didn't react to the general anaesthetic all that well. And I honestly just think it's probably because it was a four-hour operation in the end. So that is a hell of a long time to be under anaesthetic. I've been a bit of a zombie <laughs> the past couple of days. This is the first day I've actually made my bed, as you can see, um, and that I've actually got dressed and I haven't just had a shower and then got back into my pyjamas and got back into bed. So I am feeling a lot more human today, although I probably don't look it and I definitely don't sound it. But the surgery itself went well. The consultant came in afterwards and talked me through everything that he did during the procedure, so that was um, really good to hear. In the clip before today you will see me in my gown I think just when Mr Fatal came in I made the markings on my face so you'll see that he made sort of lines going down here which was making reference to narrowing my bridge and um, so that's why he was going to be making the cuts in the bone to bring in the bridge you'll see dots along the center of my nose which is where he was uh, planning on shaving down the hump and you will also see um, two circles here which I think I said at the beginning of the video that I didn't want anything doing to the tip of my nose because I was happy with the shape and size of it but because he was narrowing my bridge and shaving down the hump he said he had to remove some of the fatty deposits just to keep it all in proportion which is obviously totally understandable so those are like the three main things that he did um, to the appearance of my nose. And then of course another main reason why I was having this done is because of the fracture in my nose and also to improve the airflow which uh, was restricted off the back end of that fracture that happened. So as planned to fix the fracture he took some bone marrow and some um, skin so like chunkier skin to do a graft under my nose skin from behind my ear what they did to my ear has actually been a lot more painful over the last few days than my actual nose has been so as i'm talking through over the last few days um i didn't actually film anything but i have taken absolutely loads of pictures day by day so i'm going to be putting those in either here or i'll put them in just after i finish talking just to show you you know the swelling and that sort of thing day by day i think they were hoping to send me home around four o'clock but because i hadn't had a great reaction to the anesthetic and also i'd been sick kept me there until about 6 30 so god bless james he must have been so bored he was literally there from like seven in the morning until nearly seven at night just doing nothing and i was just flat out at the bed next to him but, and they sent me off with like loads of post off information um, a little information slip that was uh, written by the consultant which was really handy and also um, some medication which I'll show you in a second. My body has just been really 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 exhausted but you've got to listen to your body haven't you so I've literally done nothing over the last few days other than sleep and potter around and just get up and make myself a cup of tea um, but even that has been difficult because I get quite short of breath like now when I'm talking because obviously I'm so used to being able to breathe through my nose and my mouth um, and I've only got the use of my mouth so um, it is making me quite short of breath. Today I'm feeling a little bit sick, I don't know why, um, I've got that little bit of a sickness feeling and I've not really had any appetite for the last few days because I can't taste and I can't smell obviously. Now I know I won't be able to smell because my nose is, it's like it's blocked but not with like snot or anything like that. I mean there's quite a few scabs but the nostrils internally are so inflamed that like the walls are touching so you can't breathe so it's literally driving me crazy. The bruising started the day that I got home that night my eyes were quite black like a dark purpley colour. I honestly think that the reason why I haven't bruised that badly or as bad as I thought I was going to is thanks to the Arnica tablets that I've been taking. The swelling however, <laughs> my god, the swelling was just hilarious i was totally unrecognizable i'm still a bit swollen now like it's in like this area in my face like i feel like i can't smile or like move my lips very much but the swelling oh my god i looked at myself in the mirror on i think it was day three post-op not yesterday the day before and i just sobbed because <laughs> i was looking at this person and it didn't look like me it looked like i had a mask on um and james took some really flattering pictures of me uh, which I'll of course put in this video but for some reason I swelled a lot like under my eyes was like the first couple of days like I looked like I had really puffy eyes but then for the last couple of days it's been all in like the bottom area of my face like it's just 
I was just like a load of water retention or something and I actually looked like I was auditioning for Alvin and the Chipmunks. But really the thing that has sort of set me back most is just generally feeling absolutely knackered and I think that's because I'm having to sleep upright. So I've got to sleep upright for two weeks. I've got my pillow here, my V pillow, which is like a pregnancy pillow, which I had from when I got my boobs done. So I kept this, thank God. That is um, absolutely so helpful because obviously it helps you to know to stay upright because it's got edges on it. It'll be a week on Saturday that I get to lie down properly and sleep. Let me show you what I've got here. So this is my fully equipped bedside table um my bin is down there because i've just been like using tissues and stuff because my nose has been weeping a little bit these are like the gauzes so these are what i had like packed under my nose like strapped onto my face like you'll see in the pictures so what i've been doing is applying the ointment and then putting one of these on at night because i feel like it's better at night if i don't let my nose dry out uh that's just my pill that's nothing to do with this some wipes i cannot wait to wash my face because Wipes just aren't good enough, are they? I just can't wait to have this thing off so I can give my face a good scrub. Got some soothers because I have had a hell of a sore throat because obviously it's been dry. I've had a tube down my throat. It's the only way I can breathe. So I've got some soothers. They've been really helpful. That's like my fifth packet, no lie. My Arnica tablets. Um, this is what I was taking before the procedure. Why is my camera not focusing? There we go. So this is what I've been taking. So I took these before the procedure. So cold. So this is the painkiller that they sent me away with. Was taking these every four hours for the first couple of days like religiously just to keep myself out of pain um, but over the last couple of days I've just been taking them sort of as and when I feel like I need them because I haven't actually been in that much pain or I haven't had headaches as bad as I did have the first couple of days here is the two lots of ointment that they sent me away with um, but yeah that's everything that I've needed and I don't feel like I've needed anything else at all okay I know I said that I was going to end the first part of this vlog in the last clip but I actually left the house today, so I thought that was something worth documenting. I went to get my hair blow dried, so I feel so much better. I've actually got my dad's birthday meal tomorrow, which I totally forgot about, I'm not gonna lie. Felt okay being out and about. And then on the way home, I thought, do you know what, should I stop and get something for dinner this evening? Because I don't really wanna go back out later when my brother and James finish work. I popped to Aldi on the way home, so I'm about to unpack my shopping now. It's now, nearly one o'clock so i've been out pretty much most of the morning so i got a few funny looks in aldi it was very busy in there i got there at about quarter to 11 and i thought this is a great time because everyone's gonna be in work but it was so busy um and then i thought well, i'll pop to a pound structure near my house picked up a gift bag for my dad's birthday present and i was on my way out of pound structure and i could see the car and i was thinking right i'm nearly there i could just go home i've left the house it's fine and some guy stops me and says what have you done to your face? Now I live in a very, very, very small town. It is a miracle that I've gotten that far in my day without me actually seeing anybody that I knew. Um, but I didn't actually know this guy. He just literally said, what have you done to your face? And I was like, I've had a nose job. And he laughed as though I was joking and I just went, and that was it. And then I got in the car and I was like, what the fuck? Like, that is so rude. I don't think I would ever, ever, ever ask somebody what they've done to their face if they've got like a bandage on their face or something. I feel really tired now. Like, it's only one o'clock and I feel absolutely knackered. But I feel like I'm starting to get cabin fever a little bit. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that every day, even on a weekend, I'm up at six o'clock every day. I'm in the gym by seven o'clock and I'm normally home showered and done emails by like nine o'clock in the morning. For me, being knackered and not getting up until like nine o'clock and also um, not being able to go out and about and get things done, it has been really annoying, but I do understand that I need to rest. I am just excited to get the stitches taken out, see how that's looking. And then a week on Wednesday, I'll be getting the spin taken off. So yeah, I'll pick up the camera now after I've had the stitches taken out and also take you with me when I get this bit taken off and I get my first look at my new nose. Well, I'll probably see you all in the meantime, obviously on other videos, but, but I will see you all about my nose job in a couple of weeks. Bye.